Good day, friends. It is me, H.O. Mod Tech, and I am back with another video with LaserBond 100 and the sweet little bottle openers. Friends, I did a little bit of testing, and I had a couple issues when I was making mine. I sprayed my LaserBond a little bit too thick. Uh, it says to be 10 inches away, and I was closer than that. And then you want a really thin coat, and then I also was not doing it long enough. I did a test where I uh, used 100 speed, 125, 150. The best speed I found to put it on permanent was 125. Still use the three millimeters. My friends, I've set it up again. Let's make a brand new bottle opener and see what we get. All right, so there you can see it with the thin coat applied. You can actually see the metal kind of shining through where before I had it so thick that it was covering it completely. And there's the glow forge interrupting me, which is kind of funny. Uh, it's actually been so cold that I couldn't fire up the glow forge the past few days. So we're finally back in business. All right, friends, once again, we are back down in the basement for the creation phase. Uh, we are going to create and we're going to do a new blank design again. There you can see the glow forge right through the camera, which is just what we want. Alrighty, now that we are in the app, let's build ourselves a cool bottle opener. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type beer, and you can see there are tons of different kinds of beer mugs that you can bring in. I'm going to just bring one in quickly. I am going to keep my aspect ratio locked. That's what this little link is here, so it scales appropriately. And you can see that there's plenty of room to put this on the bottle opener, and then we could add a cool phrase around it. But watch this. When we go to the settings... Uh, remember that before we did it at 250 and now I'm going to tell you that my recommendation is 125 to make it permanent. I still like the results from 75 lines per centimeter. I'm going to stay there, but you can bump that up as well. Uh, all these things you experiment, different metals, you're going to probably get a little bit different results. But uh, this is how you hone it is by trying it. And I'll actually show you the one later when I move to it where I actually tested which one gave me the better and permanent results. But what I wanted to emphasize here is that we only get a one color pattern, which is okay. But if you bring in your own shapes, so I am going to upload a shape, and this is going to be a PNG uh, file that I uh, found and cut out the edges and I put it inside here. And it gives us the option, and I'm going to just drag this off to the side for now. Still got my link to aspect ratio. Going to put my words above it in a minute. But when we do the settings for this one we get to pick the way it shows up so right now it's got convert to dots and it's got a pattern all right i'm still trying to find the right numbers for this density and the margin and definitely the lines per centimeter i put this at 75 and i should have probably went less than that this design ended up being almost an hour long and i think it should be about a 20 minute project I'm going to set the speed to 125, just like we found on the other one. And I'm going to set the power to 100. Before I save anything, though, let's zoom in on this so that we can see what we're really doing. And this is what it would look like right now. Uh, I'd fill in the middle like there was more. And that's with the current settings. If we switch these we can lessen and increase the way that it draws. I'm going to change to patterns. And I'm going to put that number way more in the middle. And as you adjust, you can play and find what you think is going to be the coolest. So right now, this would be really black around the outside edges, and it would be sort of black inside it when I was using the pattern mode. If I switch back to dots, once again, you can do the same type of things where you adjust it, where I think that would be horrible. But if you get down here to a less dense pattern, that's pretty sharp as well. I'm going to choose to do the pattern one. And I'm going to stay right here in the minimized margin. And let's see what we make this way. I'm going to throw this one away just because I want to try out the pattern mode. I've already done that style. I'm going to make it a little bit larger so it fills it pretty sweet. I like how that's going to be a pretty nifty pattern. And let's add some text. I'm going to type cheers. And then also I'm going to look through my fonts. Don't forget you got to press enter or the cheers goes away. And I accidentally have two of them, so I'll delete one. 
So there I've got my word cheers. And remember, there are about 900 fonts to pick from. Now, I don't know how to find the perfect one, but I do like exploring and just checking them out until I do find one that looks pretty sweet. I'm going to try this Bulby one and see what I think of it. I think that's calling my name. But then I'm also going to unlink the aspect ratio and notice I can make it larger so that it fills the bottle opener just a little bit more. And then when I go over to my settings for it, I'm going to once again engrave, but instead of that 250, I'm going to adjust that to the 125. Everything else is going to stay the same except three millimeters is how thick my steel is. And I'm going to save that as uh, 0, 01 for the number of passes, 125 for the speed, 100 for the power, 75L for how many lines per centimeter, and then I'm also going to put a 3mm after it. So that way it helps me keep track of which one is for which thing. Friends, we need to hit select material. Once again, we are using an uncertified material, so I'm going to just type in my 3 millimeters. Let's see if it adjusts and how much I need to adjust it. I'm going to just nudge that a little bit over that way. And nudge that a little bit over that way. And friends, it's time to send it to the Glowforge. Bam! Let's go make something. All right, friends, let's hit the button and make something magic. Alrighty friends, so it took 50 minutes. Uh, let's take it off, rinse it in a sink, and see what we made. Alrighty friends, so kitchen sink. And you can simply rinse it off. Uh, nothing to worry about with nasty stuff. And almost instantly, you can see our awesome bottle opener. All right, friends, so wrapping this up, I do love the way it turned out. I love that I can scratch it. It does not come off. I mentioned I'd show the original one where I did my test. This is where I went from 200 all the way down to 100. 100 was a little bit too long. You can see it's got the burned edges. When we did the 125, uh, feels smooth, like it's baked in. Uh, where I had too much stuff, you can feel that there's a layer on top. When you do it just right, it actually is part of the metal, and you'd have to, like, grind it off. I do want to go back and highlight these choices. Uh, 90 was way too much. Um, I'm going to keep experimenting and try and get you the exact right lines per centimeter. Uh, next one I'm going to try is going to be 50. Also, I'm going to make sure I learn how these adjustments work between the two uh, because I want to have a density where it does the pattern I want when I get the final project and I'm not waiting so long. I need to make sure I remember that when I do these large fonts, it's going to have to render every last bit of that. So I could have also dropped that down to less than 75 as well and probably gotten decent results. But that's how you speed it up so you get more products created per time using the Glowforge. Alrighty, friends, I hope you found that useful. If you did, make sure you give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.